The House of Seasons is no more. How can this be? You feel it, don't you? The font's waning flow. You are intimate with the ways of magic. You're like me, youngling. You see the end. As it is in every season, this family of Summer Fey has communed at the feet of its greatest leader, the High King Tatarian. The Western Feylands are our domain. Every season, one is chosen to attend the Font's magical flow to act as ambassador. I'm the only Fey to have held the position more than once. I feel the strength of the currents. They wash through me. They rise up and overflow. However, their power weakens, their cool waters recede. It has been located here for many of your generations, what we call seasons. Only in recent times has it been shaped to resemble one of your mortal cities. The summer court resides on the highest terrace, far above the rest of us, as it should be. While wise and powerful, he's also brash and narrow. A sliver of light in a world so dark that most of us are blind. His inaction is no match for mortal ambition. It is the source of summer court magic and touches our realm of origin, the land of Ashara. Without its constant flow, our kind would dry up like leaves and vanish. Most mortals know nothing of what lies beyond the veil. The magical realm of Ashara. It is a mystery even to us, as we departed its shores many seasons ago. Of the gardens of Issa? Of the summer court? Why, this crystal war may be the end of all Fey. I know because I am Nomeron, master of the font, the wellspring of all summer court magic. I've seen it flow at its highest, but I've never seen it so dry. Something must be done before all this city withers into nothingness. The font is the source of all summer court magic. It has flowed through this mountainside since our kind sprang up from the dirt. That flow has waned in recent days. It's unnatural, even as the magic in the world grows. The fae, it seems, will wither. The font's flow is controlled from the Lycian Grove down below. We must open the root system and allow more water through. However, the magic that regulates this flow can only be used by some. It's protected by a ward known as the Waterlock. It can only be opened by one who carries drops from each of the five sacred pools surrounding Issa. Collect these drops and you can break the Waterlock. The sacred pools are the collection points for the font's yield. Together, they cradle the gardens of Issa. Keep it safe, powerful and hidden. You will find two of the pools below in the gardens themselves. One near the Ballad Sanctuary and one in the Court of Summer itself. Collect water from each of the five sacred pools and then go to the Lycian Grove. This is where the roots can be opened to regulate the font's flow. Goodbye. That is odd.
What do you want? Hello. Yes, what do you want? I take this responsibility very seriously. What is it? The peace edict is in effect. All mortals must keep their weapons controlled. This is not your place, Dustling. You are not meant to be here. Mortals have no place on the font. You must go now. Do not linger. This garden is for Fay only. I am guardian of the court of summer and protector of the font. I watch over the most precious of the city's blossoms, including the rare bristle tongue bloom. Its petals open once every few seasons, lifetimes for mortals such as you. But its seeds are potent and volatile, hence my vigil. The court communes in the building behind you. They are not to be disturbed, for their wisdom can shift the stars and clear the clouds. You are not to go near. I patrol the gardens near the font during the daylight hours, but must return to reverie at twilight, as do all my kind. It is a powerful communion between the Fey and the magic that sustains us. We come together in the evening hours to connect and to feel as one. Many believe that the font supplies all of the western Fey lands, the realm of the summer court. With their magic, its flow touches all of us with its gifts. Go back to the gardens. I'm certain of it. We are quite aware of the conditions on the outside, but it is not our way to interfere. If the great cycle calls for conflict. Yes?
Yes, what do you want? I take this responsibility very seriously. Watch your back. Yes? Hello. Greetings. Our days are hard, petitioning the court, pleading with the High King. Whoever said an ambassador's life was easy? Don't know if we've had the pleasure. I'm the finest merchant in these parts, I assure you.
can't say that I have much in the way of magical ability, but I know trade better than anyone else here, and they appreciate it here. You can't just have a group of book-minded mages and expect the organization to take care of itself. They rely on people to look after the logistics, like me. When I first arrived here at the instruction of the Order, I was terrified of the Fae. They are nothing like us. Pleasure doing business. Speak to Siobhan Reen if you're in need of a healer while in the Rathir chapter. Welcome. What is it? <clears throat> You've done well, child of the dust. Those below will never know what is really happening. But in the end, is this a part of the many seasons, or the sudden tempest? Does hiding the rot not spoil the harvest, no? Take this. You're brave. Perhaps we will meet again. Farewell. Greetings, Dustling. You took me by surprise. I'm not accustomed to mortals on the trellis. Please, enter. I am Lord Saramur, the High Lore Sage of Issa. I am here to answer all questions regarding the House of Ballads and the House of Valor. We are the children of the fields and fountains, a fey body filled with a deep breath of magic. All that you see around you is ours. For many seasons we lived in these forests and canyons alone distrusting, apart. But once we felt the call to join together, we became the Seelie. By choosing to lead the Summer Fae, Titerian is eternally linked to our fortunes, both day and night. He feels the waning magic as a mortal might feel his heart sink at the sight of his sunrise. When our seasons end, Titerian will be the first to enter the long winter. 
This sanctuary is where the knights of our most prestigious house stay when visiting the court of summer. I act as their humble scribe and servant. All summer fay clutch the glory of the house of ballads to its collective breast, knowing that the deeds of one are indeed the deeds of all. It was one of the Fae's great houses until its leader was challenged and beaten, and the magic faded under the mortal's leadership. Now even the sanctuary here on the trellis is wilted and closed as a result of our great loss. Or perhaps it's a sign of something darker. It is meant exclusively for those close to the summer court, or the ambassador who wishes an audience with the High King. Our most honorable institutions reside on the trellis, including the House of Ballad Sanctuary, and what was once the House of Valor Sanctuary. May good fortune follow. I am at your service. I hope you're here about the job. Demand is higher than ever. I'm just too busy to deal with anything else. Making a fortune is what? These visitors come with obscene amounts of gold or treasure. They don't mind parting with it. My plan was brilliant. I created a blade, fey blade of course, that makes them authentic, something all of them had to have. That's all they care about anyway, fey souvenirs. I called it the Honor Brand. Truth be told, it's dull as a stick, but it's easy to make. Listen, if you can find the parts and make them, I'll pay good money. Fabulous! Fabulous! You know a good deal when you see it. There aren't enough people like you in Issa. The Fae don't even use money. Can you imagine? Once you start forging the Honor Brands, bring them to me and I'll provide you with just compensation. Sure, sure. You want to know about me? It's understandable. You want to know who you're going into business with. A wise move. Very wise. My mother was a merchant in Rathir, and I learned the trade at her side. I took the apprenticeship with Gwenna Hand mostly to get me into Issa. Now I'm on my own. What do I know of Fey politics? I didn't even know they had a city until Gwen and I were allowed in. All I know is that there's opportunity here, thanks to the war. I can sum up the war in one word. Folly. It is folly. You will see. Everyone will see. You think I like being confined to this cage? Think again. And after all we've done for them in this war. Ungrateful creatures. It's safe, that's for sure. At least for the time being. I don't quite understand the Fey, but they definitely know how to keep a city quiet. She's the general merchant in the United Merchants delegation down the road. We've been friends for years now, I believe. A good, honest one, that Gwenna. Not just anyone can enter the secret city of the Fey. Oh no. You need an ambassador's endorsement and written authorization, and that's just to be in the lottery. Those in the United Merchants are the lucky ones. 
Of course, once you see how much gold they actually make in Issa, you will no longer envy them. There should be plenty of parts around the city. For creatures with no interest in possessions, they sure know how to collect a fair amount of junk. It's you and me, friend. Doesn't look like you've had any luck. Forge me an honor brand and I'll do my best to make it worth your time. Bring me something nice. Welcome to the merchant's house. You are encouraged to satisfy your desire to acquire possessions. I do not understand it, but it is not for me to understand. What is it, friend? You've been watching me long enough. What is it? Did I wrong you in another life, brother? hands can lead one into trouble. The best way to keep busy is to learn a useful trade. If you're willing to spare the gold, I can teach you what I know. In this battered old skull is a lifetime of knowledge, and quite a few stories as well. I have no interest in this war between mortals and the deathless. It is a waste of life. And I have my own private battles to finish. It's as good a place as any, I guess. But after a while, people begin to remember you. And for someone like me, that's a problem. I prefer anonymity. Besides, could there be a better place to hide from this offensive war? The only weapons you find in a garden are the blades of grass. I don't care to stay in one place for too long. Felltown sounded like a good opportunity, and an even better hiding place. I can't say the PC Dict has hurt business, but it's not exactly easy to train students in blacksmithing without weapons around. What you've no doubt heard is correct. I am the Holt Fren. I forged Bolgan's Bane of the Caled Coast, and many other legendary pieces. My youth was spent as a mercenary, but I have since renounced those ways. Unfortunately, my enemies have long memories, and they aren't as forgiving as I am. It is an ancient Alpha kingdom far across the sea in the dense swamps of Cluricon. I once helped its great lords overcome a terrible Bolgan problem. <laughs> Let the Fae try to stop me from carrying arms in the city. Weapons are my trade, my only expertise. It would be like asking a hen to stop laying eggs. Goodbye. Good Denisa. Best good Denisa. 
If you're looking to buy armor, I'm the only one in Felltown who's authorized to sell it. I'm Gwen Hand, but my customers call me Gwen. I don't have many weapons to offer, on account of the peace edict, but there's still a selection to pick through. Have at it. He's a dear friend from years ago. He spent time as my apprentice, but recently set out on his own. He sells authentic ritual fey blades outside in the square. The Tuatha were intensifying their attacks against Mel Sinshir, the bastion in the east. Of course, that's just rumors. I pray they're not true. This is where the fey keep us so we don't blemish their pretty city. Can't say I blame them. We're an unruly and ugly lot, mortals. Being here isn't good for business, that's for sure. I see the same damn 20 faces every day. But it's an honor for Brit and I to be here. Make no mistake about that. My twin brother and I were entering the army to fight for the Alpha when I panicked. I couldn't. I'm not a fighter. I came to Issa instead. I'm not proud of running, but I'm much more useful here as an unofficial ambassador of sorts. Not everyone's a fighter. The Fae didn't have laws, at least not official ones, until we arrived. Now they insist that those of us who live in Issa must keep its peace. No weapons. It must be one of the special exemptions. Let me guess. Ambassador? Scolia Arcana? Could be anything. Come back again. Nobody here but us law-abiding citizens. The tavern is always open. Get over here. We don't abide by strangers in Issa. In this city, everyone is family. If you want to get around the peace edict, you'll have to keep your voice down. It's not exactly the keys of Rathir, or even the Hospitalis quarters of Edessa. But Felltown has its charm. If you find out what it is, be sure to come and find me. It's better than the cellar crawl space I called home just two months ago, believe me. The Fae may be grumpy, but they've got nothing on giant rats. You know, that neighborhood in the gnome city of Edessa where the poor live. Oh, it's a lot of fun. The Darkside District in Rathir is a lovely place, if you're looking to have your throat cut or contract a nasty disease. Remember it next time you travel there. Well, technically, we're not supposed to carry or sell weapons in Issa, but I found a few loopholes. As have you. If you're on the market for something deadly, arm your man. Just don't go blabbing about it to the Fae. They've got buds for brains. Not much to tell. Heard the war horn of the recruiters and packed my bags. Slipped out in the dead of the night, I did. And I'm proud of it. What good is fighting when the Tuatha don't die? Besides, I'm a businessman. I got my hand on a pass into Issa, and the rest has been waterfalls and walks by the river. Farewell.
Come, earn an honest wage. Doesn't look like you've had any luck. Forge me an honor brand and I'll do my best to make it worth your time. There should be plenty of parts around the city. For creatures with no interest in possessions, they sure know how to collect a fair amount of junk. It's you and me, friend. This dwelling gets quite raucous. You mortals have a strange tendency to befoul anything you touch. Do you have business with the Varani? when it's peaceful. If you want to see a remarkable sight, venture to the higher terrace after dark. That's when reverie occurs. Oh, excellent. Another... Oh, a mortal. I don't think I could... Well, perhaps I might. Yes, of course. Why not? You, Dustling, how would you like to make some of your shiny, bright metal? What's it called? Ah, yes. Gold. How would you like some of that? I enjoy my role as steward. But my fear of Lady Olana overshadows any pleasure I might find in the tasks assigned to me. She is quite... critical. Well, I've never met him, of course. Such an honor is not granted to squires. But they say he is quite incredible. As tall as a tree and radiating a great light. As though a sun burned within him. The birds sing to herald his glory. She is well suited to her role as the Lady of Receivership, as she enjoys judging the worth of others. She has assessed me as well, and I have been found lacking. I am steward of the High King's List, 
and apprentice to the Lady of Receivership. Olana will be so displeased once she finds out I failed her so. Few dustlings ever make their way to these gardens. I believe they fear us, as they fear the elements. As they should. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like to be called dustlings? My role is with the Hall of Appointments, to prepare visiting ambassadors and dignitaries to meet with the Court of Summer. Right now there are four terrible, uh, <coughs> regal lords and ladies that wish to see High King Tatarian. But they are a fickle lot, and require extra, um, handling. They must enter the font in a procession, but each has his or her own preferences, and I can't afford to offend any of them. Wonderful. That's one less aggravation that demands my concern. Thank you, mortal. The dignitaries have been seen about the gardens, enjoying its many splendors. I will remain here and await your advice. Everywhere. Goronet is in the Hall of Appointments, but the others are all over the city. What a nightmare. Goodbye. Ah, oh, Dostly, it's you. Pretty evening, isn't it? Welcome. I am the great huntress Hartwan, and you are not allowed on the trellis. What brings you here, beautiful? Well, I am the most respected and most deserved to lead. Besides, I detest that harlot, Warlord Winry. So it is only right I meet the High King before her.
But not only must I be in front of Warlord Wenry, but I must also lead Lord Setter, the old lecher. Serves him right for all his past leering. Make sure I am ahead of my rival, Lady Wenry. That will make me happy. The pleasure was all mine, child of the dust. Goodbye. This is Boris. Yes, mortal? Enjoying the city. you possibly want from me? I am Warlord Wenery, Lady of the Red Sands. I am not to be disturbed. I am not petty, but I have limits, as do we all. I know I should lead the formation because of my position, but other, more tender individuals will insist otherwise. Whatever you do, do not make me walk behind the High Fey Mage Goronet. How shall I put this? He has an odor. If you value this position, you will make sure Lord Setter is not behind Huntress Hartwin. She finds him despicable, as do I. My only request is that Lord Goronet follow far behind me. He and his stink belong together. Of course, but see that it doesn't happen again. Yes? <laughs> Why, hello. I am Viscount Setter the Allseer. Are you from the Hall of Appointments? 
Order? I care nothing for order. It is the others who insist on such foolishness and frippery. However, if you are the one who determines such things, may I ask that you place me behind the Warlord Wenery? I enjoy watching her backside travel. It would be best if Garnet trails far behind Great Huntress Hartman. Once at each other's throats, those two are difficult to tear apart. Remember, behind Lady Winery. Always a pleasure. I am at your service, fleshy master. Evening, isn't it? Another steward? When did the gardens of Issa become such a teeming pot of nonsense? What is it? Me? Well, my seniority dictates that I should be leading this procession, but my lame leg prevents me from taking my rightful place. I should bring up the rear. I will make it to Tatarian's throne, even if I have to crawl. of snakes, eh? So, any insight into how I should present them so as not to tug their writhing tails? It's good that someone does. Go on. Let's line up these backstabbing serpents. Yes, yes. Of course. And then? All right. Next. Yes, yes. Excellent. That's a perfect order for these fools. Saves me the trouble of talking to them. Thank you. Farewell. Do you have business with the Varani? Like one who enjoys a game of hexes. We mortals need something of our own here in Issa. Why can't it be gambling? If you don't know how, I can teach you. 
Not much to do here in the Fey City, but lighten your pockets and have a good time doing it. But I jest. You have a lucky look about you, stranger. What do you want to know about me for? Is this some kind of Fey interrogation? Keep your curiosity to yourself, friend. Folks here have gold. That's enough for me. I don't care where I find myself, just so long as the people there are willing to pay. You'll be back. Play around, stranger. You had a look about you. Listen, all you need recall is these six cards here in my hand. Ace, deuce, three, four, five, and the hex. First, you start with an ante. What'll it be? In my hand, there's an ace. Juice, three, four, five, and a hex. Six cards all mixed up. First round, you guess even or odd. If you're right on a hex or an ace, you take the pot and we're done. Right on any other, and it's on to the second hand. Hand number two. I'll pull another card. Guess if it's higher or lower than the first. Get it right, you win. Simple as that. Bold, I like it. Now, will the card I draw be even or odd? Yes. And it's an ace. Sorry, no luck. Yes, let's. Right then, ante up. Bold, I like it. Now, will the card I draw be even or odd? Yes! Odd? Ah, but this here's a four. Sorry, but no. I knew I had you hooked. What's your ante? Bold, I like it. Now, will the card I draw be even or odd? Yes! And it's a four. You got it. Now what's your bet? Now that's some real coin on the table. Now, make your guess. Second card, higher or lower than the first? Lower? <laughs> but I've drawn a hex. Highest there is. No win for you this time. Yes, let's. Right then, ante up. Oh, I'll miss you and your money. Hexes and I will be here if you want to come back for a visit. You'll be back.